Folks, yeah, we're going to try this again. A few of you guys will notice that I did delete my last live video, and that's because it did not go the way I planned. So we're going to make sure that we have sound. All right, so right now that's a commercial. I want to make sure that I'm actually recording, and you guys are seeing me, and you guys are seeing the knives. So, oops. seeing me, and you guys are seeing the knives. Great. Okay. So if I had a producer, he would take care of that for me. I don't have a producer. It's just little old me and my little microphone. So we are going to go over. Okay. If you guys stick around, you guys are going to see what I'm going to list uh, in a couple of days. Incredible knives. Uh, again, they're getting better and better and better and better. After this collection, I'm taking on another collection. I will do the same thing. I'll be inspecting those knives, but these, these babies are going. These guys have been sold and they went uh, the eBay route and one of these I labeled wrong. I'm going to share that right off the bat. We have the Case Knife Book and I labeled this knife as a 1979 electrician's knife. Okay, It is not a 1979. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I was space cadet -y. I don't know. It was a, it's actually a Case XX USA. 1965 1969 and I had a suspicion I was like wow this is a really nice knife and I didn't I can't imagine case making money off this knife in the 70s um, so obviously they didn't uh, yeah because it's a really nice knife and this one sold for a $179 so eBay being eBay, it's amazing how people will pick up on that I take really good pictures and obviously someone picked up on the fact that I labeled that wrong. But the value in, now th this is where values in books and real world values don't match always. So in your pocket knife trader's guide, which is my favorite guide to go by, which tends to be, as, tends to be pretty accurate when it comes to eBay, labels this as a $50 knife. This is not a $50 knife. So, and it just sold real world value looking at 180 to $200. So it's a really nice knife, beautiful. Okay, I already did a video on these knives, but I'm just gonna go really quick through them and show you guys how much antique knives sell for real world value and my reaction to that, okay? This is the Remington Bullet Knife, okay? This one sold for 30, Sorry guys, might as well go in. This one sold for $31, okay? Great investment piece, I think it's a $100 knife. I think eventually these knives will increase in value. It's a Camillus, I think it's a good investment piece. I think the person that purchased this for $31 got a steal. Um, I would almost say if you could get these for $25 a piece, I would buy as many as you possibly could. Just endless amounts endless uh queen number 49 this particular knife sold for 66 dollars and 22 cents real beautiful let's make sure that you guys can still see me here you guys can look at that you guys can feel free if you guys are here um give me a chat go right ahead and i'll answer any questions that you have so the individual that got this got it for $66. Great investment piece, beautiful knife. I think it's a $100 knife. If not, about an $80 to a $100 knife. I think they got a great price for that. Um, the next one is this More Maker Second. This one sold for $53. I'm squinting because I'm looking at eBay. The writing is horrendous on this. Uh, beautiful knife. I think it's a good investment piece. Uh, not, I'm not gonna even say investment piece. I think it's a good knife for 53 bucks. Real good knife. United States Marine Coal uh, milk knife. This is a 1994 vintage uh, U.S. military knife. Oh yeah, and this one sold for 103 dollars. This one had a particularly really nice blade on it, just a really nice edge. 
This is your standard issue US model. This is a 1971. You're looking at $33 for this. Boy, that guy got a steal on this. Just a steal. Yeah, whoever got this got a steal. Seriously. I'll even open up that sucker. <laughs> you want to return it, you can go right ahead. $31, whoever got this one just knocked it out of the park. Great buy. This one did not sell at $70. I relisted it at $80. It is an $80 knife, guys. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys want to make me an offer at $70, I'll, 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 uh, I'll strongly consider it. Um, here is this, this knife is a Buck Creek. I did not know what this brand was. It is stag on both sides, really beautiful. Uh, surprisingly, this, this knife sold for $86. $86 for a Buck Creek. Made in Germany, beautiful knife. I think it's a great price for this knife. I don't know if it's an investment piece. Being stag, I think it is an investment piece eventually. I think you could, you could price this uh, at $120, probably five to 10 years from now. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do I come up with this stuff? I mean, I've been doing this for so long. I can price a knife in my head just by looking at it. Here is a Case Stockman. Oh boy, this one went for $126. It's gorgeous. It is such a beautiful knife. Um, it's a $150 knife. It's just beautiful. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to go through what I'm going to sell. And I can turn off eBay and probably be more uh, attentive. All right, we got one guy watching, one individual. Thank you. Thank you for whoever's watching live. I will show you really quickly what I'm going to be selling. It's going to be in the box because I'm not going to open these boxes quite yet. I will do a more detailed video. This is a Trapper Chestnut, the locking version, brand new in the case. These are case knives. I've got a mini yellow Trapper CV. This is CV also. Chrome Vanium blades. Really, they get really nice and sharp. We have a Seahorse Whittler. Mm. Special one in there. And then a Seahorse Whittler also in here. And this is Stag. Beautiful. Just a beautiful one. This is a, a German knife. Look at the Stag on this. Just beautiful. I tell you, there's something about stag. It's just so perfect. It's so individual. It's got a a character to it that bone really doesn't. Um, I mean, if you guys can look at the deep hues and colors, just beautiful. And uh, to make it fit so well, it takes a real good artist. It's got that nice pin shield, that swedge. Look at the swedge on that blade right there. Just beautiful. And then we're going to take a look at another really pretty one. And in the video that I do on these knives, I will be opening up these beautiful boxes right here. There is another stag one in here. And this Seahorse Whittler, if you're looking for a user Whittler, I've got one in here for you. All right. It's got the best blades that you can get on a Whittler. And it's just the snap and lockup is beautiful. Uh, I foresee that knife just being a winner for somebody. Uh, and those are going to go up on eBay in a couple of days. Have a special one here. This is a Brian... Uh, <clears throat> yellow horse and 
This is an individual. I think he has a team that works with him. I'm pretty sure. Um, and he customizes uh, case knives and queen knives. And we'll open this up and take a look at this. So I open it up. It's got a nice presentation. It's got a description in here on what he does. Congratulations on your acquisition of a customized knife. Brian's hand inlays of many different stones and desert ironwood gives a very distinctive look and feel. I wish you many years of enjoyment, Brian Yellowhorse. Okay, that's his card and his little thing. It's a really nice box, actually. The box uh, has some really nice support there. It's not, and it has some nice large hinges. It's not something that's gonna break. And it self, it kind of pops closed. See, like a knife. So a really nice presentation box. It's it's uh, put together nice. It's got the little dovetail thing, you know, the little locking, and uh, really really nicely made. My guess it's it's made by laser, uh, so because of the precision. It's just really well made. It's got a nice little thing right here. All right, so we'll open that up. It's got a nice little little presentation here. And this is a whittler. And not only is it a whittler, it is a split back whittler. Split back whittlers are incredibly difficult to make. And this is an invest investment piece that will definitely hold its value, if not double in value within the next 10 years. There's not very many investments that I could say that would do that. Um, if this knife sells for $100 now, I would say within 10 years, you're looking at a $200 knife. Just beautiful. And you can see how that, that spring, that back spring down there has to be fit in between the other ones. And, you know, it's, it, boy, it's just beautiful. So let's take a look at his inlay. We'll take a look at the back side first and save the front for last. So these are exotic uh, materials that he uses, different types of stone. You can see that he does some metal work on the bolsters there. It's not really adjusting the way I want it to. Okay, and then we'll turn this knife over. Sometimes the camera wants to adjust on my face or my glasses. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that shield. It looks like some sort of uh, Indian uh, symbol. So pretty, isn't it? Real nice. And then he signs his blades and then numbers them. This is 13 of 50. I got a few fingerprints on there and I don't. Kind of worked. T shirts aren't the best for uh, getting fingerprints off. They really aren't. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut my arm off. Um, but you can see there's an etch on that. You can see if that'll come out on your camera. I don't know if you'll be able to see that etch. It's real hard to see. Now on the other side, you also have um, a tang stamp. Nice snap, and I, I don't want to be messing with the smaller blades right now. <clears throat> well, my allergies are acting up. I apologize, folks. All right, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that's the video. 
we have so many things going up for sale. All these knives are going to be wrapped up and sent off to their customers today because that's what I do. You guys win these things, they go out ASAP. You guys get them in that little blue package of mine. And uh, sometimes you guys get a little free gift, sometimes you don't. And uh, soon I will be uh, issuing uh, file uh, polishing sticks with my knives. So these polishing sticks are really handy when it comes to anyone that has knives, especially people that carry EDCs. Like if you just wanna kind of brush up or maybe knock a few of the uh, little scratches off your EDC, a little polishing stick really comes in handy and they last ages because it's, it's, uh, it's like this matte finish. So it's, it just, they work great for everything. So a lot of my knives will be coming with those pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about that. And that's about it. Take care and uh, hasta la vista. And uh, yeah, I guess I gotta <clears throat> talk to my producer over here. Producer, we need to suspend the live video, please. Okay, no problem, dog go running. We are going to stop this camera right now.